Hello, it's a great day for math. Right, so we're going to continue our journey in chapter 1, talking about sketching graphs of quadratic nature. We've done a bit of drawing on them in the previous few lessons. So now we're going to do a sketch. So what does a sketch involve? Not as detailed as a actual graph. And we only need some important details. Okay, I don't need to plot out every single point. We'll talk about what exactly these important details are. But generally, we are doing quadratic functions, which technically should be of this form, right? y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And by right, they can be turned into either of these two forms here or either of these two forms here. Do you recall what the two methods are? Good. The top one or the top two is by doing factorization. Some, some of you remember it by cross factorization. The bottom two is the one we saw recently, completing the square. So any quadratic function, if you end up doing factorization or completing the square, we are interested in sketching either of these two in nature. So first, we're going to focus on the ones that look like this, of the factorized form. I'm going to use an example of an actual graph that you have as a plot to observe some important details that we talked about. So very quickly, take a calculator and we're going to calculate and fill up this row of values here. Right, so the values are 6, 0, minus 4, minus 6, minus 6, minus 4, 0 and 6. Use your calculator to do this, alright? So quickly plotting them out, you would have minus 4, 6 here. Okay, there should be a extension here and this should be 6. Minus 3, 0 here. Minus 2, minus 4 here. Minus 1, minus 6 again. Minus 6 is here, so minus 1, minus 6 is here. Minus 6, 0. 1, minus 4. 2, 0. 3, and 6. Okay. Right, so plotting out, we will get this. So this is the graph of y equals to x minus 2 multiplied to x plus 3, a quadratic function. Now, I want you to observe certain characteristics, which will be these important details that we're talking about. What did you notice? These two points. I'm going to call them x-intercepts. What are their values? 2 and negative 3. What else are we interested in? We are interested in this point here. We call it the y-intercept. And it has the value of negative 6. Okay. What else are we interested in? We do notice that it has a very nicely bold shape. Right? So this is another thing we're interested in, the shape of the curve. Some people call it U-shape. You can call it whatever you want, as long as you know it bows in this manner. Now, last thing. In this bowl that you see here, this curve, did you notice that it has a nice symmetry to it? What do I mean by symmetry? Did you notice that there is a line of symmetry to it, which is right smack here. This green line. And how do we calculate the value of this line? Or what is the x value here? So this line of symmetry To find out the x value of it will be to take 
the x-intercept values of negative 3, add it to positive 2, these two values here, and divide by 2. Why? Simply because it's exactly halfway in between those two values. There lies the symmetry. So at the end of the day, that value is negative half or negative 0 0.5. Now, if we knew that this is negative 0 0.5, we would then be able to tell what this point is called. Or what's the value of this point? The coordinates of this point. We call this the turning point of the graph. It's the other or the last important detail. The turning point is a coordinate. The x coordinate is precisely along the line of symmetry and it's negative 0 0.5 of x value. Right? How about the y value? How do we achieve that value? Very simple. We have the equation y equals to x minus 2 times x plus 3, right? And now if we know that x takes on the value of negative half, we can substitute it in. So we will get negative 0.5 minus 2 multiplied by negative 0.5 plus 3. And that gives us negative 6 and a quarter. So the turning point Okay, let me give me more, more space here. The turning point has the coordinates, the exact coordinates of negative half for x and negative 6.25 for the y value. So all these are the important points of a sketch. The x-intercept values, the y-intercept value, the shape of the curve, and the value of the turning point together with the line of symmetry. So let's go into an actual sketch where we are finding only these crucial points and then proceed to do the sketch. Let's take a look. Right, so in example one, now we are only just given the equation. Okay. And we are expected to do the sketch. So as mentioned before, everyone, these are the things that we have to look out for and actually find the exact values of or find more info on. So first and foremost, we'll start with the shape. What shape is this? Looking at the equation, we notice that if I were to expand it out, I would get a positive x square coefficient. Okay, and because it's positive, it will have a U shape. Okay. So later on, we're definitely going to be drawing a U shape that bowls like this. Next, we're going to do the X intercept. So now, without actually plotting, how would I know where the values are? But now, if we recall back to solutions, it's where it actually where Y takes on the value of 0 or rather it cuts the x-axis where it's y equals to 0 along here right any point there has a value of y equals to 0 so therefore I'm going to substitute y equals to 0 here and find the corresponding x values I'm just going to do this once to let you see how it looks like and let's determine what's the fastest way to do it. Solving this, is it obvious that by factorization method, x is negative 2 or x is 1? We've done this before. Right? So I will proceed now to mark out on my sketch on this diagram on the right, the, the points of 1 and also negative 2. So you don't need, really need to take a ruler just going to put a cross at where x is 1 is probably probably going to be and just do a good estimate of where x is negative 2 as well okay so this is two points that this quadratic graph is going to pass through right key points next y intercept 
Conversely, if for x intercept we let y be 0, this one we're going to let x be 0. And again, a substitution exercise. So when x is 0, using the equation above, I'm going to get 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1, which gives us negative 2. So I am going to plot negative 2 on the diagram. I think it's going to be somewhere here. Okay. So we have three pieces of points that we know for sure that the curve is going to pass through. Next, line of symmetry. Remember that it's going to be exactly in between the x-intercepts. Okay, exactly in between. And how do we just quickly calculate it? It's going to be x equals to the first x-intercept added to the second x-intercept and divide by 2. Very similar to just now, we're going to get negative 0 0.5. Okay, so by right, I'm just going to use a different color, color here. It's going to perhaps pass through here. I'm just going to use a dotted line, everyone, okay? To indicate that this is the line of symmetry where the curve or the U-shaped bowls in half, falls in half. And at the end of the day, how do I know the x and y coordinate of the turning point? I'm going to use the x value here, found in the line of symmetry. So I let x be negative 0 0.5 and put it and substitute it into the original equation. So negative 0 0.5 plus 2 times negative 0 0.5 minus 1. Evaluate it. Okay, and we will get negative 2 and one quarter so therefore the turning point is negative half negative 0 0.5 or in comma negative 2 and 1 quarter for y x is this y is this so all in all everyone this will be my last important detail so now i will fit the shape of this u shape in that passes through all these crosses with a nice little bowling line Let's try that. U shape, so coming down, continue. It will bowl and turn nicely here. Go up and up and up. So the Y absolute lowest point is negative two and one quarter. And the X value is negative half. So this is the sketch of Y equals to X plus two times x minus 1. We are done. Right, so pause here if you still want to observe how we got this. If not, I will be moving to the next example below. And here, I'll be doing it a little faster because you realize you'll be going through the same steps. Right, so uh, we have this equation with a negative in front of the two brackets now. So with that, it tells me if I were to expand it, I'm going to get negative x squared plus whatever behind. And therefore, the shape is an inverted U. Some of us like to call it N. Okay? Of this shape, where eventually there will be a line of symmetry as well. Now, x-intercept. Just remember, opposite. I'm going to let y be 0. Some of you are very fast, you will notice that actually at the end of the day, if I were to solve it by the factorization method, let it be zero, I just will end up with two answers, of which is the opposite of these two values that you see there. In other words, negative three or negative one. So, I will transfer this to the sketch. Negative one is probably here, okay? And negative 3 is here. Next, for y-intercept, we're going to do the opposite again. Let x be 0. Okay, just observe the pattern here. Let x be 0, substitute it in. So now with the negative there, 0 plus 3, replace all x with 0 and see what we get. We're going to get negative 3. So, 
where there's negative three feature on the graph one two three probably around here okay so we have three points next line of symmetry okay so very quickly it is the sum or the average of the two x-intercepts first one negative three plus second one negative one divided by two which in turn gives us x is negative two right so at this point of time i'll advise you to take a pencil instead of a pen pencil and mark out where x is negative 2 here and this is where the line of symmetry goes vertically down right so be bear in mind that we are drawing this curve here and hey can you already plot it out i think i could right you can imagine that 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 uh, end shape going out but for certainty let's now also determine the exact value of the turning point we really know that x is going to be negative 2 from the previous part right so i will let x be negative 2 and put it into the equation so negative 2 plus 3 times negative 2 plus 1 i'm going to get value of 1 so therefore the turning point is negative 2 comma 1 negative 2 along the thing and 1 is probably here okay yeah so now we can complete the sketch use your best free hand turn around turn around here cut through see the end shape must go through all these four points that we have marked out and at the end of the day label the graph y equals to negative x plus 3 times x plus 1. We're done.